thank you very much. Eh. I I believe uh, this is a very short notice. Uh, saya ucapkan terima kasih kerana kehadiran semua. Uh, perkara ini uh, agak penting dan saya minta uh, sedikit uh, pertimbangan dan kesabaran because kita akan mainkan uh, beberapa uh, clip audio recording. Yeah. Uh, this recording ni is with regards to conversations involving the former Prime Minister Najib Razak, former MACC Chief Tan Sri Zul, Tan Sri Zulkifli, a foreign head of state, Datin Sri Rosma, and a couple of other persons that we will inform you uh, and uh, I, which we have identified. We have been given the recordings, but I won't tell you uh, from where at this point. Pursuant to investigations, we can confirm their absolute authenticity. The contents are shocking. It's of cover-up and subversion of justice and institutions. In the public interest, we are making public the contents. We will now play the recordings to you. Bear with us, it will be roughly about 45 minutes <coughs> of nine sets of uh, conversations. So I would like to uh, invite my officer to, to start. So we'll hope to have your full attention. Once we have played, we believe some of you will be recording it as well. Uh, so I don't think we can keep replaying. So let's start. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Ah, okey lah mungkin dia ambilkan itu sikit Tapi benda tu memang memang dengan saya dah Saya dah memang uh, dapat tadi pun kita dah Saya dah ambil dah IP semua tu buat tuan masuk ke tempat saya Tapi yang itu tak apa saya dengan e- dan 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 si AJ tak ada masalah Saya si AJ si AJ dah ikut Kita bersependapat tak ada masalah cuma Nak update kan untuk seri apa sebenarnya Betul carangan yang dicadangkan oleh MSCC sendiri Betul sendiri Dia tak kena rasa kalau dia cadang Nanti benda itu terkeluar Betul sendiri itu yang kita risau sangat-sangat Itu yang saya rasa Betul sendiri perlu tahu Kepala tersebut On the legal side Kita boleh handle Tan siap Tan siap Pandi boleh handle Saya boleh handle Itu tadi isu Betul sendiri Tapi yang selain daripada tiga tu dan saya pun tak sangka tu that extend seriusnya benda tu mana dia main tu Allah Alam bersihkan saya rasa Dato' Sri ni kena minta maaf lah Dato' Sri memang kena main lah Betul for me tu kalau boleh Atau pernah tasuk sengat tunggu Dia perlu kongsi Dia panggil lagi kami sebentar Saya Saya Panggil tak tengok lah Panggil dah Dia Tengok sekali lalu macam tu Dia tak tunjukkan semangat tu Pak yang Dek pak sahaja Dia pun terkejut Dia pun terkejut Memang terkejut dan dia semalam pun dah punya empat dah macam It's not very happy dia pun tak fikir Sekarang kita dah ngeluh plan lah macam mana nak buat dia tu Tak ada isu lah legal kita boleh support Tapi yang macam nak cuk sering cakap lah masalah Seolah-olah keputusan Gani tu betul lah dulu Masa dia tu sering Saya ada benda lain pula tadi pihak polis pun datang jumpa saya sebab ruang DB punya uh, isu dia IO, IMDB jumpa saya dan briefkan saya tentang kes tersebut jadi saya kata tak apa ruang IMDB tak ada isu dah sekarang di polis pun ok dengan saya dan dia maklumkan lah apa peristiwa-peristiwa yang sebelum ini yang berlaku jadi bila saya dengar tu pun saya pun terkejut untuk Sri Cuma rupanya bukan It is not only Yang yang ini is not gani patah seorang Dato' Sri Ini dia sendiri dengar pada Dato' Sri Kalau Dato' Sri nak saya boleh bawa dia sekali jumpa Dato' Sri dengar terus he, he, he was present lah Meeting tu which is saya bagi bila Datuk Sri dengar tu dan konsisten dengan dengan apa keputusan sekarang ni Datuk Sri tu saya pun itu yang kita ingin panggil sekarang ni Siapa? Ah, itu yang kita tak dapat. Banyak benda saya nak nak explain macam ini because saya tak isu. Dalam kes ni jadi peliknya ni lah. Uh, kalau dah tu saya tengok kepada press release yang dikeluarkan baru-baru ni oleh Syukri. Dia menyatakan bahawa kertas uh, sesatah dia tu dibentangkan ke dalam panel khas. Kita pelik pula bila pula panel khas ni ditubuhkan. Nah, panel khas ni pula terdiri daripada lima orang Dan kenapa Kenapa pula ada penuh panel khas Sebelum dihantar ke pejabat Guam Negara Jadi benda tu pula dia tulis itu diwakili oleh lima orang panel khas yang terdiri daripada pakar-pakar Jadi seolah-olah nak buat Seolah-olah mengatakan panel khas itu juga telah 
bersetujulah dengan pandangan MCC dan uh, yang pentingnya hanya kes yang itu satu je dia ada dua kes satu sorry yang kes yang satu tu saja yang dibentangkan dalam penuh khas satu lagi tidak dibentangkan dalam penuh khas nampak nampak ni macam tu saja tu which is very bad saya tengok very bad very bad because if dia tengok tadi semalam pun dah kita tengok dan tengok saya tengok satu seri ya Masya Allah kata saya macam nak nangis semua ni aduh terpanjang saya semua ni mungkin dia dia can come with this sampai sanggup macam ni ya tu Kita boleh handle sendiri masalah yang tertekan pada kapan dibuat keputusan yang tidak tidak selaras. Tetapi kita kita tahu sama ada dia akan bocor tidak ada. Jangan ramai sekarang tahu kenal kan dari mulut orang sendiri ayuh dengan bapak bapaknya sahaja lagi bapak orang bapak orang itu muda. Kita tahu 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 Bisa saya agak memeranjakkan juga. apa yang maklumat yang saya dapat tadi lah ada IO polis jumpa saya tadi dimaklumkan bahawa dalam satu pertemuan di rumah Basikani ada IO tersebut berada di sana sama-sama dan Abu Qasim beritahu kepada AG dia tersangsi buat keputusan untuk tuduh ialah tuduh sahajalah tersangsi pun nak bersara you will be remembered by the people of Jesus Ini yang perkataan yang digunakan oleh Tansi Abu Qasim kepada Gani Pantai dulu lah mesti yang sebelum Gani Pantai dipecat jadi kalau Tansi tak ada Datuk Sri tengok masa itu it is not all this while to be kata kita ngatakan bahawa Gani ni lah yang jahat tapi memanglah dia pun satu tapi how can benda tu sampai dia keluar kepada Abu Qasim kepada Tansi Gani Seolah-olah dia instigate benda tu Dan sekarang kita tengok Abu Qasim tak boleh kata Dia nak cuci tangan Datuk Seri That he did not involved with this uh, decision hmm. Yang, yang pelik pula tu tak pernah dalam sejarah IPCC Datuk Seri Minit okay. I admit Okay, we will be playing the second clip. Uh, this first clip that we played, uh, the full uh, clip is about 15 minutes, but I think you've heard the uh, the essence uh, of the conversation. Uh, that was between Tan Sri Zulkifli. At that time, the date of that conversation based on the uh, document that we have received is on the 5th of June, eh, sorry, 5th of January 2016. Uh, time is about 11.56. And this conversation, the first call was made by Tan Sri Zul. At that time, he was uh, a prosecutor at the AG Chambers. And he made the call, and the first person to answer the call was uh, Rosma, uh, Datin Sri Rosma. We are assuming that this is a conversation by telephone. Eh? I, I think it's quite obvious there. And then the, the call was then passed to uh, Datuk Sri Najib. And the conversation revolves around an investigation paper. As you can hear, uh, uh, the, there is an obvious uh, leaking of information from the AG's chambers to the person who is, uh, we believe, 
is a subject of investigation. So that is one serious issue of uh, leakage, but we will uh, uh, um, brief some more after, the, after playing the rest of the videos. So the next um, clip, I think maybe we can, we can give you a heads up. The next clip is about two minutes. Again, this is from Tansri Zul with uh, why don't you hear out first who <laughs> he's gonna to speak to? Maybe I'll keep the suspense. All right. Okay though, everything okay though. Uh, say about letter three, sorry. Yeah. No, 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 any time for you. No yeah. problem. No Just problem. to inform you. Yeah. Uh, last Thursday, I have uh, one. But two that's the app. Yeah. So, Tandi just finished the second one. Yes, sir. There is more that finished last year. Maybe they saw so even brief something in India. Ah, okay. just fixed the whole morning to put the long brief. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, the right up or both the ready. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so more uh, under control. It's two last year. And he said, will we go up? Okay. That was on the 17th of January yeah? at about 12.20 p.m. The next call is on the 22nd of January 2016, about 10, uh, 10 at night, uh, 10 p.m. Uh, again, it's a call from Tansri Zul. And by this uh, call, you will know who was the previous caller because the identity will be revealed through that conversation. Yeah. How is it? Good or bad? Yeah. You they cannot do the fighting. This is, this is the fighting. Nah. They maintain the three. Uh, it's on Pavale too. Uh, because the, we post certain questions to them. The Divian keep to post certain questions to them with a view that they take the opportunity to review <coughs> lah. Hmm. Tak ada lah. They want to review lah. Maintain dia orang punya tu. That's it. Mm, maintain lepas tu nak cadangkan pula against uh, oh, wow. dua orang. Dua orang lagi tak? Dua je lah. Ha? Dua je lah. Tak yang itu maintain. Semua. Semua sekali tak apa. Eh, yang tu. 
No, 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 ya, et, et, kita based at a very fancy discount actually. Eh? Mm-hmm. What we, ambil, we are going to do money. is on, on, apa tu, Tuesday. Hmm. We shall try number one dulu lah. Okay. Uh, yang itu nanti we send back your, for, uh, we send uh, back for, 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 ha, sama macam tu lah, lebih kurang. Tapi, we will settle that one first. Okay. One and for all lah. Yang, Malang. yang, yang part ni dia, Go for CP kan? CP apa tu kan? Yang mana which one? CP kan? Yang mana yang untuk siapa? Yang perempuan ni, yang perempuan Go for CP kan? Ah, CP CP kan? Kita nak Kita nak 420 atau 420 CP kan? 409, 409 409 409 CP tu Ya lah CP tu Okay, yang part tu Yang boss is calling me, I call it at the end Okay, okay, tak apa-apa How is it? Good or bad? Okay, that was on the 22nd of January, yeah? Uh, I believe you can guess who that conversation was with, huh? Do you want to take a guess or you want us to tell? Okay, very good. Okay, <laughs> you can be part of the forensic team. It's more on the same year. Sorry? This one have the conversation is more on the same year, yeah? On uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in the same year. It's a chronology. It's in chronology. Now, the next um, conversation is on the 26th of January 2016 at about 11.56 a.m. Now, you might want to remember that particular date. It is a significant date, which we will tell you later. But uh, hear out the conversation first, because <coughs> uh, an event happened on that 26th uh, January as well. So you will know it may be related to this uh, content. All right. Hello, bos. Eh, bang, apa ni? TM lah, buat video bagi saksian tadi. Yeah. Yang yang fun ni, yang bukan yang senang. Ayam. Yang bos senang ni, yang bagi yang bagi yang bagi kat kat TM ni kan? Yang hak kopi tu. Ah. Eh, TM juga satu. TM one a complete set. The fun yang pergi kat kampung semua tu kan? The complete set yang ada, because dia nak pergi ke Saudi, dia nak uh, bincang dengan Saudi hmm. Buat Complete set eh? Buat yang semua masuk ada tahun ke? Buat Eh, tiap nak tiap ni Dia bekal tak ada dekat Ain, nak tuan-tuan dekat Ain ni Tapi tak boleh kawan kita lah, tak boleh kita lah Haa, buat cuba buat Pasal saya nak dia pun, saya nak pergi ke Saya nak pergi ke Saudi tu ya Dia nak pergi hari ni, hari ni hari ni Tapi dia nak pergi ke Saudi tu ya Hmm, okay Nanti apa yang nampak hari ni, apa yang nampak lah Macam Petani pun tak ada di Jabat, dia akan ada di Di Dari Bisi hmm. Tapi kalau mau lihat je Gua hmm. beli buah kat rumah dia Apa yang cari tu, apa yang cari tu Macam mana kita discount lah, di rumah tu Haa lah Haa lah, cari tu Amu, amu tu aku buah ni dengan jabi-jabi tu Amu, amu tahu buah ni dengan buah ni dengan buah Haa, bila ni Ambo, ambo ngaji dia, saya ambo, ambo begini lah kedah ambo Tapi ambo oh. tak cakap luar Haa, ah, ambo Nanti oh. kandah ambo lain kira je lutung Kau tu Okay, we have verified um, after hearing that conversation We believe that that voice belongs to uh, Apart from Tanjri Zulkifli Ahmad The other person is a person by the name of Tan Sri Shukri uh, from the PM's office. All right? Tan Sri Shukri. Tan Sri Shukri, the one who handled the report. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's not coming from us. Okay, so then uh, that was uh, this conversation uh, happened on the. Sorry, just now I said 26 of January. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, uh, I need to correct that. This is 26 of February. That conversation, the earlier um, conversation between Aziz and Tanshri Zul, that was on the 22nd of January. So, mind you, the few days later, something significant has happened. So you can uh, relate to whether this conversation is related to that particular thing on the 26th of. January, all right, and 26 of February. This was the conversation. Okay, now we're going to play 
to you another episode which is further down uh, in the year of 2016 which is on the 22nd of July 2016 again this is a very significant date there were some events that happened and from the conversation you can you will you will know what they're talking about um so yeah okay. <coughs> Mr. Prime Minister, how are you, sir? I'm oh, delighted to speak with you, Your Highness. I'm well, alhamdulillah, and I hope you and your family, they are well. Everybody is just well, Mr. Prime Minister. How is the family there? Good family, uh, well, here. Yeah. Of course, uh, we are experiencing a bit of uh, dark cloud um, as a result of uh, yesterday's announcement by the Department of Justice. Uh, that's why um, Your Highness is important for us to um, resolve this impasse uh, with respect to I one MDB and I think as soon as possible, so that uh, we put a closure as soon as possible because it's embarrassing both countries. Embarrassing uh, Malaysia, embarrassing uh, uh, UAE as well. Uh, you know, and the personalities uh, who are close to you. So um, I wish that we can find a solution as soon as possible. Uh, but it's difficult for me to talk to you on the phone. Uh, would it be possible for us to meet as soon as possible so that? Uh, we can work this out. Um, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, it will be fine with me, but uh, the only catch is I'm traveling with Sheikh Khalifa, who's in uh, um, medical treatment now. He's going for a checkup for about uh, five days, and I'm going to leave to see him after tomorrow. Uh, I'm still with him, but uh, is it okay after that? Uh, where would your highness be? The, uh, I will be I'll be home in about uh, seven to eight days here. Seven eight days. Um, if, if, if you if you think this is too late, uh, I can arrange something else. I can let uh, Haldun come to you wherever you are in a very uh, under the radar and sit with you uh, and, and talk about it. Is some somebody that I trust for you, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, would like myself? Yes. Um, your Highness will be, where will Your Highness be on Sunday? On Sunday, I will be uh, leaving uh, to Sheikh Hamza. On Sunday, actually, yes. You're leaving what time on Sunday? Uh, I'm not sure. You're not sure. Um, uh, not in the morning. Not in the morning? No. Would it be possible if uh, I were to meet you on Sunday morning? I can arrange that. I can arrange that. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll fly over on, on Saturday and then uh, be with you on Sunday morning. That after our discussion, Your Highness, uh, you know, you can proceed with your trip. Because this is very urgent, actually. If we not resolve this, uh, the matter could escalate, you know. Okay. Can I call you back in about uh, three hours or two hours? Uh, okay. Um, sure. You can call me, say... Um, 11.30 hour time, which is about two and a half hours time. Is it possible? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm for that. Okay, good. Thank you, Your Highness. Oh. Okay. Which one? Oh, in. <coughs> Just a little bit of... Can you hear? Yeah. Right. Just a little bit of background uh, before we play the follow-up follow uh, conversation. We believe the, the Your Highness, the reference uh, is to the Crown Prince of uh, UAE, 
Sheikh Mohammed bin Zaid Al Nahyan. So um, this is a conversation between the former Prime Minister with um, the Crown Prince of UAE. And I'm going to play the second, uh, the follow-up uh, conversation. Yes. How are you ready for the speak with the Highness? Uh, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Speak up. Mr. Prime Minister, apologize to be late. <laughs> You're very prompt, not to worry, Your Highness. No, not at all. Mr. Prime Minister, I have consulted my guys here, and uh, I'm fine on Sunday, but the catch is to do it. If this uh, visit leak, it will be uh, unproductive for you and for me. Uh, so I try to find another solution. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister Khaldun has the full authority for me. And I really genuinely want to find a solution for this problem. Uh, okay. I, th I think it's very important that somebody meet him. If the deal is fine with you and fine with us, I think we should go for it. I don't want to push this anymore. It's in, in our both interest, Mr. Prime Minister, to solve it. Yes, it is our mutual interest, Your Highness. Uh, yes. Um, so you don't think I should fly over? You think people will know about it? I think people will just know about it, yes. I see. Um, mm -hmm. But we really I need to uh, resolve I, this. I can let him come there. You want Khadun to come there? I think Khadun can come there, Mr. Prime Minister, and uh, or your yeah. minister can come and when meet can, with Khadun. When can Khadun come here? I will uh, I will call him now. He is in California in a visit, but I can let him snap and shoot from there. I also have this uh, uh, personal uh, request, Your Highness. Uh, yes. That relates to Riza, you know, my son. Yes. And his movie. You see, um, the problem is relatively small. If there can be a, an agreement with uh, with Sheikh Mansour to have a loan agreement signed, and he will pay back according to the schedule. That will show that it's a legitimate uh, um, what do you call financing package. It's not money laundering. You see, I mean, uh, uh, at the moment he's under a bit of pressure in America. I was worried about him in case they make him the scapegoat, you see. I would appreciate was the big package is looks positive. We can find a solution, I believe. Uh, uh, I would appreciate if that uh, agreement can be signed quickly with uh, Sheh Manso or whoever is designated by Sheh Manso so that he can begin to pay back. He's paid back some, he continues to pay back, so that it would appear as a as, uh, legitimate uh, uh, loan agreement, which it is, you see, because when he received it, he, uh, the banks cleared the source of money, so he was not aware at all where it came from, you see. So I uh, don't want him to be a victim when he was totally unaware about the source of money. He generally believed it was from ABBA and under the instruction of uh, Sheh Manso, you see. And also, I remember uh, Your Highness also talked about helping him when he was, uh, when we were in Abu Dhabi. So... That's right. So I need, I need that agreement to be sorted out quickly, Your Highness. That's my special request. As soon as possible, you know, I mean, if Monday or Tuesday, we need to, to have the agreement signed. Uh, can you can you suggest how we can do that? I will do it right now, Mr. Prime Minister, and I promise you, if it is in my power, I will do it. Just, I, uh, I understand this is your son, and I will be really the one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because he's totally innocent. All he wanted was to make movies, and uh, yes. there was an offer of 
loan from uh, you know Sheman so you know side from Alba and also you mentioned it when we were at lunch remember in the restaurant about mm. supporting him so he thought everything was fine you see now they're trying to connect him with one MDB's money which is totally um, came as a shock to him you see we will work on the Mr. Prime Minister inshallah but we, the, the time is of the essence your highness we, we cannot we cannot leave it a day longer because uh, you know you don't want the Department of Justice to suddenly move against him, is it? And the beginning of the week, inshallah, to will come to the will come to the summer, so I can share in the work that's in the power. Thank you, Your Honest. Well, how do we, uh, where do we go from here then? I mean, he's got all the documents with him. Uh, let me pray from the Prime Minister right now and okay. I will see how we can, I will let them to call you a peer man and see how they can arrange a meeting immediately. He's got the uh, number of uh, Amhari number. Yes. yes. If we can call Amhari straight away and then uh, we'll, can we work out how we can resolve it? Mr. Prime Minister, believe in me, I want to finish this. This is bad and I don't want to happen. Thank you, thank you, Your Highness. This is very bad. This is very serious. It could lead to something very, very un, un, unforeseen and catastrophic uh, for me, for our government, and also for, your, for you on your side. Uh, so let, it is to our mutual interest that we, you know, being so close, we need to resolve this. It's not something which is not impossible. It's something which is actually within our means to resolve it. I agree. Yeah. So I'll. Um, what do you want me to do, Your Highness? Just. Uh, um, call Am Hari, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. And we will send you. Call Am Hari. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll, I will let Am Hari straight away, Your Highness. Yeah. Sure. All right, thank you. Yes, how are you ready for the speak? Okay, sorry. Um, the person by the name of Khaldun refers to Khaldun. Sorry. Uh, when they, when they are they are mentioning the, the the name Khaldun, it refers to Khaldun Al Mubarak which is the chief executive of Mubadala Development Company, MTC. Khaldun, uh, just for background info, is, um, has connection with the 1MDB when Malaysia was uh, almost dragged to the arbitration, international arbitration uh, court uh, when 1MDB failed to pay its bond that was, um, uh, that was guaranteed by IPIC. So just for your background knowledge, um, Sheikh Khalifa refers to Khalifa bin Zaid bin Sultan Al Nahyan. That is the president of UAE. And uh, IPIC, you know, that's the International Petroleum Investment Company. And Sheikh Mansour, which was also mentioned, is the uh, chairman of IPIC. Just for background. Um, we're going to play the next one. The next one will be a very short one. That's about less than two minutes. Is that Excellency, uh, Mr. Calden? Yes. Uh, this is Najib, Mr. Najib, once again. Oh, hi, Mr. Sorry, sorry, sorry to bother you on the light. Has uh, Rizal... No, 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 I've spoken to him. Has I've spoken to him. Uh, I've spoken to him. And right. we agreed that we're going to uh, to meet tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Okay, good. I uh, do. You, do you want him alone, or do you want him with the lawyer? No, I think better for this uh, we meet alone. I think after I meet with him alone, we can. I can decide that how, how we can move for the next level. But I just need for the first sit down, just at least for me to understand directly for him what needs to be done. Okay. Can you um, can you convey him? I'm trying to get him because he's in a meeting with his lawyer. I don't want him to spoil the thing if he brings his lawyer. His lawyer is rather attached to him. Doesn't doesn't okay. You know. Just tell him to come with I mean, what what do, what do you what do you recommend? What do you prefer? If, if you want, I can bring 
a lawyer with me also. No, and that no. way we can have the conversation with the lawyers. But I think it's better first first time one on one. Yes, yes one on one better. Okay. I will. I will. Uh, I will give you the case. You can call the lawyer, but not the first meeting. I think just just the two of you will be better. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about. Okay. Don't worry about. Okay. Don't worry about. Sorry about. The Please. Problem. Yeah. Thank you. That was a conversation between Dr. Sri Najib and the person by the name of Khaldun. And that was on the 23rd of July, 2016. Um, from the documentation that we have, it's about 2.49 a.m. in the morning. Now, now we're going to a, uh, another phase. That was the first uh, part where you can see the con uh, what the conversation is about. This is, this is the third segment. The first segment was between Tanzir Zul and Najib. The second one was between Najib and uh, uh, the uh, foreign, um, uh, basically foreign persons, um, which we have identified. Now the third one is between Datin Sri Rosma and Najib. Um, please listen very carefully, because this has got, uh, it's, it's about six minutes and it's got a lot of um, names mentioned. Uh, I think it's better that we just play so that you can probably catch uh, the context in which they are talking about. This was on the 27th of July, 2016, at 12.46 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that's okay. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Mm, Hello. Can I advise yeah. you? Can I advise you something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, anything? No, you will say don't listen to me. You know why? They tell you to slow down on Abu Qasim. And Abu Qasim is making statements. Oh, I'm based in the Vienna Convention. I'm making a man of my life. We are making him looking like a hero. And you are the, you are the villain, you see? And all these five people, can they see that their first priority is you, not anybody else? You Which five that? people? Yeah, right, your office, right? Shalan, the convict, Tenko, the convict, Amari, the convict. You know, like, you, Kitten, Sumo, Gillen. You know? No, 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 no. I allowed uh, Azwan to make the statement. The, the impact, the bagu, the... Azwan, okay, fine. Now, today, Abu Qasim, in Britain, why is it that they allow Abu Qasim to give Amit Gambang a part of And he, he got the cheek to take part of and everybody else except you, okay? That's not fair. Mm, mm, mm. So please, Darren, just okay. understand. Understand. go by you. No, I've already signed a letter for Zul's appointment. Yes, and Abu Zahar can make black statement all must be for people. Because they have lobbied, see? They know they have lobbied. Because Zahar didn't want a statement, yeah, yeah, lah. Yeah, but Abu Zahar didn't want a statement. They don't know what he's mm. talking about, no? Nah. Good idea. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay, okay. No, I, I don't like this. Darling, you are the Prime Minister. You should take your chance, not anybody else, okay? Yeah, I, I understand. And you have got goons around you to advise you. Because I said, I told Shana Chalan, but you not so long. So now we talk to long last week. When the moment the thing happens, like you should have time to push it. I said, how, how can I help? I went after one one week. I said, you now you stop telling me. We can solve this. I said, I said, I don't understand. told me, I said, you go and talk to Khaldun, ah. try to convince him this. Mm. There is no point going for arbitration. I get yeah. that. You go for arbitration, everybody will get hurt. Ah. You see, I can speak to the Crown Prince. The Crown Prince, the Arab minister, they'll go back and say, oh, I need to consult Khaldun. Bali, what I get to do? Of course, you cannot blame him. That's my Buddha idea. So we have to work around the Buddha culture. I don't uh. know. Maybe Khaldun should come here. You know, and talk to you, and you know, and and I'm happy, certainly. Yeah. That, that's how I feel. Not just talking over the telephone. All it doesn't work. Okay. You can invite him here. Yeah, yeah sure. 
invite yeah. them to sort it out once and for all and put it to the I mean, she knows us. When you get that in that, God damn it, I mean, no more magic to the world. Please invite him. That's a good idea. We can invite him, yeah. Sure. Uh, then I'll send him then. And I'm married and sit down and so mm -hmm. down. So, and mm -hmm. the 27th of July 2016 eh? and just for just to put in context after that conversation on the 1st of August Tan Sri Zulkifli was appointed as the new MACC chief and as I've said uh, earlier the arbitration that they were referring to was with regards to where Abu Dhabi would like to bring the issue of uh, binding term sheet uh, between IPIC and 1MDB to the International Arbitration Court. But I'll not go into details. Now, we have to continue. The next one is on the 29th of July, 2016, at about 12.14. This is going to be about five minutes between Dr. Sri Najib and the individual we believe is Amhari. You managed to speak to him? Yes, uh, I've got an update for you. Yes. Um, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's suggesting, uh, conclusion, he's suggesting when he's in Abu Dhabi because he's very, 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 uh, you know, concerned about where he is and, you know, all these calls. He's, he's getting a bit, Mila, he's getting a bit, you know, uh, worried about, you know, all these calls going around there. They're not comfortable. So at the very least, you know, it, it, it tell your, your principal that, you know, um, although I do not agree, uh, I do not, uh, I think uh, it's best that uh, to protect our principal that we don't speak, he said, but if he insists, then uh, at least do it in, uh, when, when I'm back in Abu Dhabi. Apa tu cakap lah, dia tengah cuci, semua orang dia tolong juga, apa semua, uh, untuk uh, solution number two. So dia macam a bit, a bit, a bit ni lah, a bit. That's stuck up on a bit wind up, lah. Not me stress. He's wind. We're still laughing about it, but uh, it's a bit wind up, lah. But the most important, uh, the uh, the thing is, um, uh, susah lah. So ni, dia tak nak jumpa pula di Jakarta. Dia, 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 dia nak bercakap lah. Dia kata nak jumpa pun, dia kata sangat bahaya. Dia kata. That's the thing. And then they are still talking about, you know, uh, we establish uh, the communication back channel. Dia kata, and the whole idea was to bring the beef. 
you know, and he said we stick to that, the director, and then after that, uh, you know, even with option two wasn't on the table, but then option two, while I was on holiday, I helped out because the two principals spoke. So the director, that one is ongoing, and it's going to happen, I think, the next two days. So that's going to happen. But to speak to the director, uh, you know, uh, we need to to. This is very they they they're very worried lah, very dangerous. Kan tak kini takut bocor lah, semua. So this he says that at the very least, when I'm back Abu Dhabi, uh, you know, we can have a conversation on this uh, uh, video principle. That's what he said lah. He was he was quite near lah. He was quite firm you know, on that lah. So but on the, on the second thing, he, he will he will see to it that happen the second part. Yeah, the second part he says that. Uh, the second part is that uh, you know the the two uh, players will uh, will meet up uh, and then this uh, the his uh, guy will come back and report to him what is the deal on the table and see whether he can he can uh, he can work on that lah. The, the the second part is simple. The second part is just for Chairman to to uh, sign a letter to say the that the man was. Was alone. Was alone. That's it. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's it. But he, but I'm sure his lawyers will then advise him. You know, the whatever the repercussions they want. But he says that whatever he can help, based on the principle, based on the two principles conversation, he will help. That is that, that's mine. But I guess for please, please tell your principal that for the principal to talk to me is very risky, and you know it, we should be we should put. I mean, you got lecture there. We should protect our principles. You know and. Uh, you know, we should, it's very risky, and yeah, I think well. Know, but we want things to happen, you know, yeah, things, so things don't happen, it's tough. Hmm. Hmm. Tapi orang it's, harap pun macam tu juga, kadang-kadang, kan? You're dragging the whole thing, it's tough lah kita. Hmm. But, but it's okay. But lah, kita ni more exposed than daripada dia. Betul, betul. Dia Tapi boleh, dia bukan demokrasi, dia boleh duduk. Duduk sama, kan? Tak uh, suka apa, kan? Tak ada apa, ya. But uh, I, I, uh, well, um, I don't think and whatever he say entirely is, you know, he's being fair. Uh, I think we have a case. But the only thing uh, we need to manage the punya, uh, you know, situation lah. They get to the cuti, but they tolong juga. But the ini risau. They remember risau lah. All these things bocor apa semua ni. They risau. They get to if this goes up. Um, then it's very difficult for me to work. Even when you came, it came out in the in the pin. I'm sure it's not from you because you don't know money. But somebody look at who is sharing all this, and I'm not comfortable. But that one I discounted it, and I, I in fact I wasn't comfortable with it, but I discounted it. I still carry on. So all these things we need to protect. They were mangi so about two lah. Kalau ni tu yang kita nak protect tu betul. Kalau that you know to the. So sorry sir. Yeah, really that's okay. That's okay. You try your uh, best. Uh. But on Saturday, but on Saturday, uh, he will. I can uh, arrange a conversation with you. Uh, Saturday, petang or Saturday malam. Yeah, so at least satu benda tu dulu lah yang the second part. Yeah, the second part. So they are meeting up. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. I think we played about. We played nine clips of um, audio recording. You have all heard it. There, there are various serious issues that arise, including abuse of power, criminal conspiracy, obstruction of justice, compromising national security, fabrication of false evidence through foreign aid and connivance. I have instructed my officers to take all necessary steps and we will hand over the materials to the relevant authorities for investigation. In this whole sordid episode of betrayal of public trust and criminality, we can be thankful there was one brave public servant who knew his duty and did it, that is Tan Sri Abu Qasim. I think we will open up for question and answers. Uh, How do you obtain recordings? Uh, like I said, for purpose of security, we will uh, not reveal that at the moment. We're going to give it to the authorities and let them know how we did it. Is it from one source, one source or one We source? received it and we don't know whether they came with uh, many sources or they compiled it. We don't know that. Yeah. Do you have a transcript of all of this? No, we don't. Because it, when, we, when we got it, 
we went through forensic to identify first um, uh, who they are and we did our uh, investigation and we obviously based on the knowledge we have of the, the whole uh, uh, the individuals that was uh, uh, involved uh, we could easily identify who they are um, but we can uh, prepare transcript but that will take time we wanted to do this uh, revelation for the interest of the public I think it's been too long and uh, not just in the name of transparency but because we do not want any more undermining of um, independent bodies like MACC or the Attorney General to be compromised in the manner in which you can see how uh, secret documents are being shared, are being revealed, uh, and total undermining was happening. So because of that, I think it was necessary for us to, to share with all of you um, what was happening. Which investigation paper was the first compilation about? Which investigation paper? Yeah. We we believe it's SRC International. Yeah. When did you receive the report? Sorry. Yeah. Because we just received it. When we received it, we are look the the case can continue. As far as we're concerned, the, the conversation is about cover-up of the ongoing cases. So we are talking about a new, a new set of offences that is taking place throughout that, that, uh, that recording. Sorry, yeah. When did you receive the recording, actually? Recently. Recently. Yeah. So when did you receive the recording? Is it by this year or...? No, no, just recently. I mean, uh, just after the new year. Yeah. What happens now moving forward with this recording? What do you do with the recording? We are going to hand it over to the authorities because we believe, the, like I said, there's abuse of power. There is a, a clear cover-up and criminal conspiracy here. So we believe this, this uh, uh, calls for a serious investigation. So we would uh, hand it over to the relevant authorities to investigate. And in this case, of course, the police. Uh, only the police? No, we will do our own investigations as well, but it would be also better for the police to, to come in. Yeah. Um, by releasing it now and not to the relevant authorities, don't you think that this is going to somehow affect the current trials that the uh, Adult Street Addict is going on through right now? I don't see how it's going to affect. As far as we are concerned, this is of public interest and it involves uh, serious national security. So I don't see how this cannot be shared. And I don't see how it's going to be uh, prejudicial to an ongoing case. The so are you taking additional charges in relation to these audio clips? We, we wait for the investigation to come up. But based on our own expertise, looking and analyzing the, the conversation, we can see there are elements of power abuse. We can see the revelations going on. And the individuals we are talking about are holding one of the highest uh, posts. So this, this cannot be, uh, it should not have happened. Not us. We we believe the, the the police should be doing that. Yeah. Will you be looking to work with the UAE for the investigation? Well, I, I do not want to uh, speculate anything. Um, let's see what happens once we give it to the authorities. Well, when will you be submitting it to the cops? As soon as possible. Well, I've already instructed my officers to do so. So the media was the first to hear this. Offense. Yes. Yes. Did you you said, is sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any other clips? No, as, as uh, the ones that we got was this. I don't know whether they will keep giving us or whoever is uh, presenting to us will keep providing us, but this is what we have received. And uh, we may have not played fully, but the, the essence of it we've played to you. Um, overall, is about 50 minutes. I think we played about 45 minutes. So um, as far as we are concerned, these are the conversations that we, we heard. <coughs> I don't know whether there are any others. Did your forensics determine if there was any indication that the conversations were manipulated or fake or you know, any kind? No, no. We are, we are quite uh, um, satisfied that this is um, authentic. Um, yes. So it's not some duty say what you're doing now? No. Yes. So within MACC, how's the investigation going? Will you take some action? Well, 
it's not about us taking the because okay there are some elements of corruption here but a majority of the offenses that uh, that we we note involves uh, offenses under the penal code so we would prefer the the police to start the investigation that would be much better on our part our investigation was to actually identify who the individuals were and then of course that makes it easier for the police to continue with the investigation how and then uh, how then they want to use the the investigation and and prepare to the uh, prepare the charges and such i think we don't want to speculate let them let them proceed yeah. these are uh, clear criminal offenses um well, without having to specify the actual sections uh, there are attempts to fabricate evidence um, if you notice there were conversation to draw up a so-called loan agreement uh, to make it appear legitimate the money that was given to Reza Aziz now anyone um, uh, who has an understanding of that conversation will see that that revolves about uh, talking about fabricating and making up evidence that's one the attorney general's office sharing information to persons who are subjected to investigation in this case if the person he's talking to are possible suspects and you can see from the conversation he is that is actually uh, a breach of the official secrets act um, will this, um, among others that is not for us to decide so we will give it to the police and up to the prosecution the attorney general's chambers what they would like to do what you have played for us is this uh, full audio clip that you have received or just this is the one that we have received but we uh, because for 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 easy uh, hearing we comp uh, compressed it in one recording what the individual that came forward with this recording was it no they did not come forward i didn't say any individuals so we will but not reveal how, how. how do we obtain it then? we will not reveal how <laughs> okay, what, what, what we will give it to the authorities okay but obtaining it whether it came from someone or you guys came from him, what took what took this person so long to uh, that we don't know recording? we don't know if we can talk to that person lagi bagus but we we only received it so we did not interview any person we just got the recordings and we analyzed the recordings this is something actually quite common eh? Uh, MACC receives all kinds of information uh, by anonymous persons. There are surat layangs, there are uh, what you call that, uh, thumb drives, um, you know, CDs, all forms. So that's quite a common thing uh, that uh, happens in MACC because a lot of people are afraid. And I believe, having heard the conversation, there is a sense of fear. Um, and that is why it came, it just popped up, right? So, our job is not to uh, basically find out too much who gave us, but what was in it first. And having heard it, uh, it really doesn't matter, because I think the content is much more uh, important. Yeah. So, but we will leave it to to the to the police. Uh, as a lawyer, was it actually legal? What 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 I is mean, recording conversations? Is it actually legal? I, I'm not here as a lawyer. I'm here as MSCC chief. All right. How many individuals in total did you identify in the recording? Oh, okay. I I didn't uh, keep count, but um, there is Datu Sri Najib, there is Tan Sri Zulkifli. Uh, sorry. Rosma. Oh, that is Sri Rosma. Um, Sadun Aziz Shukri. Uh, Aziz Rahim. Aziz Rahim. Shukri. Tan Sri Shukri. Um, Hari. Um, and then uh, the two individuals from uh, Abu Dhabi. About seven. About seven. seven. Yeah. Um, is it a crime to record the conversation of a prime minister? That's not what we did. We just played out to you. So uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to speculate that. Yeah. We're not going to. Uh, is it, I mean, uh, sorry. Which prime minister? The oh, you mean uh, uh, the former or current? Current. current uh, no. 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 Media is the first. Media is the first. What if the AGC find this subjudice? How will this affect? We're not going to. We're not going to make any assumption. Uh, because I, 
we don't see on our uh, on our part we don't see any subjudice uh, aspect so let's see who says it what since this uh, involved the previous MSC chief so internally was the SPRM and the moving forward to ensure that this yeah, that's precisely why we are playing it up, because this involves the uh, uh, undermining of MSCC work. This involves, you can see the, the series and the dates. The first conversation by Tan Sri Zul was when he was in his capacity as a DPP, right? And throughout, after many months, he eventually was appointed as the MSCC chief. So you, you, you guys make the... the so the person conclusion. Who gave, so the person who gave the, the recording actually mentioned when the dates. I did not say any person who gave the recording. I mean, How did yeah. you find out about the dates? Oh, the dates are in the in the <coughs> in the document. Yeah, yeah. The dates are How definitely in the document. Is it in the thumb drive or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So why you just tell us a little bit more? If you don't want to go to the Just tell us. Can't. I can't. Sorry. But we will be giving it to the authorities. Maybe the authorities can share with you. We can't because we are afraid for the whoever came up with this thing. We're afraid for that person, so sorry. Will then next time they will start looking for things, you know, so it's not, okay, it's not safe. Are you sharing it to the dapat serentak ataupun secara berbingkai? Serentak. Kita dapat dokumen ni, serentak. Serentak maksudnya sekali. Puan, can you summarize uh, the time frame with other conversation? Oh, okay. So the first conversation... I'm going to press back. The first one was on the 5th of January 2016 at about 11.56 p.m. And then the second one is on the 17th January 2016 at about 12.20. Third, at 12.20 p.m. Third one is 22nd January 2016, 10.12 p.m. Fourth one, 26 February 2016, 11.56 a.m. Fifth, 22nd July, 8.54 p.m. 22nd July 2016. Eh? Sixth, 22nd July 2016, 11.33 p.m. Seventh, twenty-third July, two thousand sixteen, two forty-nine a.m. Eighth, twenty-seven July, two thousand sixteen, twelve forty-six a.m. The last one, I think that's all. Oh, the last one is. 29th July 2016 at 12.14 a.m. For the purposes of the camera, can you tell us the significance of the dates? <coughs> yeah, because when we, when we listened to the conversation, there were events that they mentioned. Uh, for example, uh, uh, the first few conversations, it was involving, I have passed documents, Tan Sri Edi akan buat pengumuman, you don't worry, kita beli masa dan sebagainya. So you can see what it was uh, uh, talking about. So of course, we did our own search to find out what actually they were talking about, right? Um, and then, uh, for example, the second conversation, there was a reference to the announcement of the DOJ. So you can, you can take a guess what that was about. And then, of course, we looked at the conversation between Dati Rosma and Dato Sri Najib, in which uh, he said he has signed the letter and almost sounds like he was reporting to the Prime Minister's wife and uh, she was very upset uh, with Abu Qasim and, um, and then he immediately said that he has actually um, signed the letter and that was on the 27th of July and uh, three days later, you know, if you look at it, he was um, uh, appointed. First August, he was appointed as the MECC chief, right? And further th uh, to that, you can see other other um, very serious um, uh, 
names or uh, suggestions that was uh, in, in the conversation. For example, Datuk Sri Najib to Rosma said, Baguslah Azwan dah buat statement. And he was talking about some Azwan. Now we, this is our guess because we looked at the, the event. We believe he's talking about a person by the name of Azwan Bro. Okay? So you can you can probably play back and hear the conversation again later. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> but um, that that is quite disturbing. That the Prime Minister is talking about some so-called uh, you know, individual who does a statement on his behalf. What is that about? So all these things are pretty scary because this is in the midst of a serious investigation of a mega scandal and corruption that has taken the nation up for a few years. And here we are listening to the conversation, complete undermining of the institutions that are supposed to take care and solve the problem and bring to justice. Yes. Yes. That yeah. So the fact that Tan Sri Zul masa tu dia belum Tan Sri lah, okay? Dia uh, Tuan Zul, okay? Masa tu dia Tuan Zul. Dia telah uh, maklumkan kepada apa yang kita kata boleh katakan ketika itu masih uh, individu yang jadi suspek ya. Dan dia beritahu case tu stick to you. Dia dia um, it's not very good basically dia kata not very good and then but don't worry kita kena settle don't worry apandi and i know what to do these are all very very serious you know Madam, yes as one role referring to senator as one no actually I'm, i'm not sure i don't think yeah. you see oh. oh i'm not sure i'm not sure i i haven't kept up with his Uh, yeah, they mentioned Aswan Bro. Yeah. Oh, I don't know whether he has become senator. That one you all have to check. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. You just assume that it's Aswan Bro. Yes, we are assuming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if that is the same person who is the senator, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, the, the first set of conversations was just was before Tan Sri Abadi's press conference clearing the prime minister, right? Yes. That was um, Tan Sri Apandi had a press conference on the 25th of January, 2016. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.